It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition. This is for Thursday, the 2nd of December. I'm James Spann. The calendar says December, but it feels more like late March or early April around here today. We're going to stay very mild through the weekend. Let's go to the upper air look this afternoon. A very dry air mass in place with a northwest flow aloft coming around a big ridge of high pressure west of the state. Visible satellite view, a cloudless sky statewide again today. And temperatures are way up there, mostly 70s. We've got 75 in Tuscaloosa, Birmingham at 71, Anniston and Gadsden 72. We're expecting highs in the 70s each day all the way through Sunday. There's the watch warning map, a very quiet day across the country. Severe weather not expected, maybe a rumble of thunder for parts of Southwest Texas, and that's about it for today. Tomorrow, risk of thunderstorms west of Alabama. That would include Dallas, Fort Worth, Shreveport, and Little Rock. And day three, which is Saturday, maybe a few thunderstorms from Memphis down into parts of Texas, but around here we will likely stay dry. Here's the rain for the next seven days. We do expect to see an increase in rain activity next week. Rain amounts for the northern half of the state between one and two inches, under one half inch for the southern counties of the state, and this is valid through Thursday morning of next week. So model fans, let's go. Here's the GFS. This is the 12Z run valid tomorrow afternoon at 3. Got a trough west of the state, but a zonal flow here. And again, a beautiful day. Sunny with a high in the mid-70s in most spots. That's 15 degrees above average for early December. This is Saturday. We're still dry. Evidence there could be a few showers just north and west of Alabama. Partly sunny, the high Saturday, 72 to 75. And pretty much the same deal on Sunday. We will mention the chance of a few widely scattered showers during the day Sunday. Nothing widespread. The better rain activity will be north and west of the state. And again, very mild. Highs low to mid-70s. And then a cold front pushes a band of rain in here late Sunday night into Monday. This is Monday at noon. Uh, the cold front entering the northwestern corner of the state at that point. So again, we think the most widespread rain will be after midnight Sunday night through the daytime hours Monday. And Monday should be noticeably cooler. North Alabama will likely stay in the upper 50s. Tuesday of next week, we're dry. The sky partially sunny, the high close to 60. And then Wednesday, the next wave comes in with a chance of showers. High Wednesday should be in the 60s. And this is a week from today, Thursday, the 9th of December. A zonal flow and again, evidence of a few showers, mainly Thursday morning. But for now, we still see no evidence of any severe weather problems. We'll go out 10 days. This is Sunday, December 12th. Got a very intense 591 upper high over Florida. Got a big trough coming out across the Great Plains states. And if this verifies, we're mild and dry. But the main chance of rain and storms well to the north and west. Rain for Birmingham for the next 15 days. Numbers keep going up. This is through December 17th off the European Ensemble. And the mean is between 3 and 4 inches now. And we could use some rain. And the numbers, highs will exceed 70 through Sunday. You see the cool down early next week, and after that, highs mostly in the 60s. And hot off the presses, the brand new CPC Outlook. This is for December 10th through the 16th. And you can see we're right there in that above circle, where temperatures will likely be above average here right on through mid-December. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can, catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless. Hey, this is James Spann. I think one of the best parts of my job, getting to do weather programs in schools. During regular times, I'm in a school once or twice a day teaching students, mostly in elementary schools, things about weather and science. It's a really great part of my job. In fact, if I wasn't a television meteorologist, I would be a third grade science teacher. But one thing I've noticed over the years, some children, not all, but some, develop a genuine fear, a phobia of weather, especially thunderstorms and tornadoes. To offset that, I commissioned a couple of creative members of my family to write a series of children's books about weather. And the first one is out. Benny and Chipper, be prepared, not scared. Your kids will absolutely love Benny the Bear and his best pal, Chipper the Beagle Dog. It's a really good read about thunderstorms and tornadoes and how it's okay to be a little afraid, but you don't have to be really afraid.
As long as you're prepared, you understand them, you know what to do, and you take care of yourself. Information is very powerful, and that starts a process of kids overcoming that fear. And this book is a really good read for any elementary school student. My friend Ginger Z of ABC News in New York, the chief meteorologist there, wrote a forward here. Jeremy Davis, an illustrator, really makes Benny and Chipper come to life. It's a great read, and your kids will love it. I would encourage you to get a copy, and we'll have future books with Benny and Chipper about things like thunderstorms and the science behind them, tornadoes and hurricanes. So get your copy today. Right now it's available online at SpanBook, with two N's, SpanBook.com. And you'll see some other cool stuff there as well. Benny and Chipper, prepared not scared. Get your kids a copy today.